greetings, salutations, everybody, and welcome to the channel of Flash with my playthrough of Shantae Risky's Revenge. And we're on part two right now of my blind playthrough of the game I just said. So, what did I do last time? Um, I think I got semi lost. Nah, but I'm found right now. Let's go. I am totally found. Oh, that rock looks really sad. That's a sad looking rock. I wonder if that's intentional. Or if it's like one of those things where my mind is playing tricks on me where I see faces and things that don't really have faces. But I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a sad face. Enough psychology. Oh, this again. I assume I need a key. Who's out there? The lunch courier. If you don't have my tasty meal, get lost. I'll give you something to snack on. How about a knuckle sandwich? <laughs> Wait, no, I don't punch in this game. Um, how about a hair sandwich? Ah, uh, that doesn't sound as cool. Whatever. I'll just keep going past this sad rock, facing the other direction. Oh, I see enemies in the background. I hope that doesn't come to bite me in the butt. Oh wait, why am I walking? You know, sometimes I gotta stop and smell the roses. That's why I'm walking. Ooh, that thing almost shot me during the transition. That's not fair. Oh, this thing again. I remember her from the first game. Wait, there's something over there, but there's something up here too. Oh yeah, I assume this is a way to get back to where I was. Yeah. See, I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm learning the ins and outs of this game. That's what we do here on the channel of Flash. We learn from experience. See, that's how I always learn best. I don't learn if someone like just tells me the information. I learn better if I go out and experience the information firsthand. Because life is the greatest teacher. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going back. I'm gonna keep killing this person. I really wanna s I really wanna uh, find some kind of warp point, if they have warp points in this game. Because I wanna take a warp point all the way back to town so I can buy more items. These I can afford the Spitfire and the other item, the Poke Pike Ball. And I don't wanna backtrack all the way over there on foot. But I might have to do that. Unless whoa! What is this? Some kind of dwarf lady? Why is she so small? Maybe she's a child? Um, welcome, miss. I'm very sorry, but today's orders are all backed up. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to find the tasty meal for that guy locked in that cage from this lady right here. My dream has always been trap- Been- to My dream has always been to become a master chef. Sh I mean, chef, not chef. I had this conversation back in my Cuphead Let's Play. Chef, not chef. Master chef, traveling the world with my pup Wobble Bell. <laughs> Is it related to Zatch Bell? <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to get on with part 5 of that let's play. But he seems to have run away, and without him to inspire my dishes, my dream has fallen into ruin. If you find him, please tell him I miss him. Oh, Wobble Bell, I miss my pup so much. The big all caps letter yellow pup. Okay, I guess I gotta go find this little puppy. Oh, puppy dog, where are you? Oh, I can't go that way. I guess I gotta backtrack again. Oh great, now I'm going on some kind of fetch quest to find the dog. Oh man. Oh right, respawning enemies. How do I keep forgetting this? Does it really need to make the death so graphic? Like, was exploding into a million bones really necessary? They couldn't have just made them melt like this guy? I mean, why am I even complaining? The, the more gruesome, the better. <laughs> as every teenage boy would say. It'd be a lot cooler if there was blood though, but I think this game is rated, uh, I don't know what this game is rated. I really want to say rated E, but there's like a lot of, um, let's say well-endowed woman in this game and very <clears throat> revealing clothing for some of these characters. So I think that in and of itself would probably spike the age rating up, rating up just a bit. At least you maybe E10 and up. Maybe T. No way it's M rated. It has to be E10 and up or rated T this game. I don't know which one. Who's out there? Oh, I already talked to you. You don't say anything different because I don't have your food because I gotta go find the lost, the lost lunch pup, the puppy dog. I'll save my game again. I might as well. Yeah, sure. Why not? Orange sparkles. Save completed. Let's go and not get defeated. Unlike that spider who I defeated with my hair. <laughs> Wait, how much is a pink one worth? Oh, it's worth five, okay. 
I really want to memorize how much each piece of currency is worth. Why can't I hit this thing? There we go. Yeah, okay, I can't fall down there. You know what? I just saved my game. I'm gonna see what happens if I fall in a pit. Oh wow, she has like an actual death screen. And yes, I actually did turn up my TV volume this time, so I can actually hear the music and the actual sound effects. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with my, uh, with the mic, my audio mic pickups. Okay. Yeah, from the looks of it, me just falling into the pit just took off half a heart, I think. So, thankfully the punishment is not too bad. The punishment does not fit the crime. Or, I should say, the punishment does fit the crime. If falling into bottomless pits was a crime. I mean, I guess you could consider it a crime against God, and the punishment is your life. <laughs> okay, keep going. I'm gonna consult the- ugh, consult the map. Hey, I took damage, but it didn't look like any of my hearts went down, even though I took damage for that thing. Maybe it does so little damage that- Oh wait! I forgot to see what that 5 does! And there's another 5 on the bottom left too. Um, I don't know what anything means in this game. Everything's all cryptic to me. Ugh, stop flying away when I'm hitting you. Oh wait, how much is a purple one worth? 5, 2? Okay, so I assume the colors don't change the currency amount. It's only the size of the- currency that affects how much I get. Which is kind of weird because I don't know why they would go through all the trouble of making different colors money if they all have the same amount. And hey, I guess it's prettier to look at. Where am I going? Oh, don't tell me I'm already lost. No, it's way too early to me to get lost. I'm only in part two. Oh, jeez. I was here already, wasn't I? Uh, map time. There has to be an easier way to access a map. Maybe there's a way to, for me to, pardon the pun, map it onto a different button. <laughs> oh wait, no, that doesn't do anything. That's the select button. This, oh, I can read it. Greetings! Salutations, everybody. Stranger, I'm what they call a warp pedestal. It's my job to zap folks from place to place. I'd like to help you out, but until my warp brothers wake up, I can't do squat. Ah, so there is warping in this game. I knew it. And it is from a warp squid. Or, it looks like a warp squid, but it looks different. It looks like some kind of mutated warp squid. It only has one big eye. I don't think the warp squids in the first game had one big eye. They had like a two normal eyes. Oof! And I took damage. Okay, I I don't was that the first warp point? I thought I encountered another warp point, but it might have been that warp point I encountered and not the other one. Hold on, let me look at my map. Oh! Wait, hold on. I think that warp point was a gray tower I just went into. I think that's what the warp points are. How do I go down? Let me go down. I mean, by going down, I mean like going down a different plane of existence. I keep saying plane of existence, but I don't know how to also refer to, re refer to these layers. Like, the first layer, the second layer, the third layer. Maybe I should refer to it as like foreground, background, midground. But there are two midgrounds, so midground one and midground two. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep saying plane of existence because it sounds a lot cooler. Sounds a bit more existential. Yeah, I keep going this way. And I might as well kill all the enemies on my path, just to pick up some extra money. Okay, yeah, I'll save. So, how's everybody doing today? You know, I can't go a single Let's Play, nay, I can't go a single episode without asking my audience, Hey, how's everybody doing today? Well, I, I'll tell you what, I'm doing pretty fantastic right now. I'm just, it's, uh, what, 10.30 p.m. at night? <laughs> Why did I say that? P.m. at night. <laughs> As opposed to p.m. in the morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's something that never fails to be taken here in the Channel of Flash. Redundancy. We take redundancy in stride over here. But yeah, it's 10.30 p.m. On a Friday night. 
you know, most people are out clubbing right now. Dancing, partying, Friday night, maybe go to like a concert or something. But nope, not here on the Tamil Flash, we don't do that here. What we do here is play Shantae. Okay, so I should awaken this. Huh? Was that? Yawn. Is it morning already? If I say no, he might reject my warp point offer, so I'm gonna say yes. Okay, time to clock in. Warp squids are on the job. So I can warp from place to place now, can't I? Where can I take you today? Yeah, okay. So those great towers are warp points. I knew it! I knew there was a warp point! I am so good at 2D platformers, I can predict every time the game is gonna have a warp point or not. <laughs> it's my platformer intuition. I really want to get up there. I really want that treasure chest. It's tempting me. Get out of my way. Okay. So, I assume the pup is actually going to be... Somewhere to the left. Maybe it's that red skull icon at the very bottom right there next to the five. Maybe that's the pup. Uh, that's just a prediction. Hold on, I know I keep- it might be really annoying watching me consult the map, but... I just want to see where all the warp points are. Get in there. Okay, now take me to the shop. This is a shop, right? Yes, I hope so. Yes, I remember you. I remember you. Whoa, whoa. I remember you. That's a Ramon song. Okay, let me get my Spitfire. No, I never really, I never really uh, like the Ramones that much. I, I don't hate the Ramones. I know they're like a legacy band from back in the day, one of the legacy punk bands from like the 60s and all that. And they're very famous, but I can't. I never really got into them. I'm not really into punk rock that much. I mean, classic punk rock or mod rock as they call it, like uh, Sex Pistols and all them, or The Clash. Maybe the early days of the Who. But yeah, I never... That never really tickled my fancy as much as... Can I not buy this? Why is it not letting me buy it? Okay, so I guess I can't buy it. Should I buy something else instead? Oh, I can't even afford that. I could have bought, afford this. Attracts dropped items like a magnet. Hmm. Yeah, sure. That sounds kind of fun. Oh, it's not even letting me buy it! Why can't I... Oh, it's a different currency! What am I looking at? It's a red bottle. That's... I don't have any of the red bottles. I only have money. I don't have any bottles. <laughs> That's why I couldn't buy it. I was so confused. Okay, uh, I guess in that case, I might as well just buy the Storm Puff. Uh, should I buy potions? So far, I've never had any problems dying yet. But we're still in a really early phases of the game, so I'm sure the enemies might get a lot harder. But until then, I'll probably not buy it yet. Maybe I should buy the magic vial? Nah, forget it. I'm stingy. I'm a cheapskate. I want to save my money. <sighs> hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, you gotta endure me going grocery shopping. It's kind of like when you're a kid and your mom forces you to go grocery shopping with her and go bored out of your mind. Or at least that's how it was for me growing up. <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of others can relate. Uh, but yeah, I might as well buy these items because I have nothing else to uh, spend my rupees on. Like, the only other thing I can buy are these, so... I, I don't have any of the red potions to buy any of these. But what should I get? Should I get... You know what I'm gonna do? I have 50, so I'll buy three magic things, because I'm sure I'm gonna use magic a lot more than I'm gonna lose health. So I'm gonna do that and buy one potion. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in the butt. But no, I'm sure I'll be fine. Find? I'll be fine. I mean, hopefully I'm finded. I'm found. I'm dumbfounded, that's what, for sure. What? <laughs> I don't know. Pumpkin fields! <laughs> okay, let's get going, shall we? Oh, do I have to activate my, uh, my, uh, potion? Or my attract? Oh, wait, no, I didn't buy it! Why is my memory failing me so hard right now? I just, I, in my mind, I thought I did buy the attract potion. But no, it, I needed the red potion to be able to afford it. 
get out of my way. Ooh, let me get this heart. I just killed a person and I took their heart. I know a lot of people make jokes about the Legend of Zelda series for that same reason. <laughs> Killing monsters and stealing their hearts. Yes, it's- oh! No! <laughs> why would the no be the default option? I was just mashing through the text. Why was it- why is no the default? That's a trap. Oh wait, I, I can only have one piece of magic at a time, can't I? Well, in that case, I want my fireballs out. Whoa! That's a cool looking explosion. Yeah, the animation and the sprite work in this game looks really cool. Looks really awesome. It's a really- wow, that was close. It's a really big upgrade from the Game Boy Color days. And I just realized, during my Game Boy Color playthrough, there was an option to like have the Game Boy Advance Enhanced mode to play, and I never actually tried that out. Maybe I should go back and do that. Yeah, or maybe not. I'll probably do that on my own time. I don't... I don't feel the need... No, don't go back in there! All I did was press Y. I didn't know just pressing Y would activate me going inside the cave. I, had to, I thought I had to press up. I wanted to press Y because I got magic jam! Okay. It's incredible, it's edible, it's a jar of magic jam. Yeah, just like that person was telling me about in the last episode. Wait a minute, hold on. I thought I had to press Y to go into cave, but did I accidentally press up on purpose? Er, er. Did I accidentally press up last time to accidentally go back out of the cave? Because I could have sworn I pressed Y to try to break over those pots and then maybe go back inside the cave, but I guess I must have accidentally flicked up on my joystick. Okay, so I don't know where the puppy is. Let me consult the map one more time. Maybe the five icon means, uh, it's magic. I need five pieces of magic jam to get through. Man, I don't know where the puppy is. Where haven't I looked? Because I can't go left because there, there's a dead end. I can't jump that high to get over that pit. Can I? Hold on, let me check one more time. Yeah, it's too high for me to get over the pit. I can't go that way anymore. Um, it looks like there's a path outside from the back of town, all the way going all the way up. Maybe that's where the puppy dog is? That's kind of a far way to go, isn't it? Aww, I don't even know if, they, if I can go that way. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm gonna try one more time to keep exploring the right side where I was previously. If I don't find anything there, then I'm gonna try going to the back of town, because there's a good possibility I might have missed something. Okay, Warp Squid, take me over to where I once was. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, right there. Yes, that's why I picked it. That's why I selected it. You don't need to reassure my decisions. Okay. So... Have I tried going to the very bottom right? Because I see some kind of... Building? Or some black thing at the bottom right of where I am. Maybe that has something to do with where I need to go. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna like, try to keep going that direction. So I gotta find a warp panel to warp me all the way to the first plane of existence. Yeah, there we go. Now I gotta keep going one more time. Nice. Now I gotta go all the way to the right. There's gotta be something here, right? See, I don't think I've been here yet. Oh wait, yeah, I have. <laughs> what am I talking about? Of course I've been here. Huh? There's no way to one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your giant PNG off the screen, Shantae. Um. Uh, okay, so that was a bust. I'm gonna try going all the way to the left, because I'm still not exactly sure what that five icon is on the map. If it means anything. Oh, you know what it is? It's a save icon. It's not a five, it's an S. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. 
Wow. I feel kind of dumb right now. <laughs> so that's a save icon. Okay, I'm gonna go on the second plane of existence. <laughs> Why did I think I could walk past that? Okay, um, yeah, I go back to the second plane of existence right here. I thought I was gonna go flying into that enemy back there. <laughs> I got kind of scared for a second. Okay, yeah, I don't think I can go this way. Oh, yeah, I can. I was gonna say, uh, that guy's blocking the way, but he's actually on the third plane of existence. Can't do anything there. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way to the right. I might as well explore all my bases right now. Yep, this is a blind Shantae experience. D leave me alone! I just wanna kill you. <laughs> I'm telling him to leave me alone, even though I'm the one attacking him. I'm the assailant in this situation. But you know, I'm a girl attacking a guy, so no one's ever gonna believe the guy. <laughs> I don't mean to get political, but... <laughs> Welcome to society. Um, I don't think I can do anything here. Can I push the rock? Can I do anything to the rock? <laughs> I'm talking about the piece of stone, not the actor. I don't think anyone can do anything to him. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Why did I think my thunder cloud would break over the rocks? Nope, nope, nope. So nothing over there. Get out of here. Now on over to the third plane of existence. No, not that plane, but this plane. Okay, so if I go all the way to the right, it's just gonna go to the warp place. So I'm gonna go all the way to the left. Man, I'm going through hell in a handbasket trying to find this Wonder Pup, or whatever its name is. Puppy Bell. Thane. Ugh, me running errands for people. Okay, I can't do anything there, so that's a dead end. Okay, now I'm gonna try going on the fourth plane of existence. But I don't think I can do anything because back there, that's where the giant stone guy is blocking my path, so I can't do anything there. And... I don't have. I'm gonna try going to those five planes of existence back there at the top right and see if that's- if, see if I missed anything over there. Okay, I'm- I'm actually running low on health, so I'm actually gonna use one of my potions. Oh. oh. Drink up! Haha. <laughs> what a neat animation. Okay, uh, for a reference point, I'm actually right here right now. I don't- Is there anything- Yeah, there's nothing else over here. Okay, um, I'm just gonna jump cut ahead until I get further up ahead. I don't know exactly at what point I'm gonna jump back into, but eh, I'll cross that bridge when I can do it. Okay, so here I am right now. I'm I'm gonna try to thoroughly explore these five planes right here. Maybe I missed something. And by something, I mean the dog. The wonder pup. You know, something. a good thing about all this backtracking is that I'm actually gonna pick up a lot of money. Oh, can I reuse my- oh, never mind. <laughs> I saw the little icon. Oh, I haven't used this yet. I saw the potion icon on the top left, so I thought I still had more uses out of it. I thought it was a multiple use item, but nope. Only one use. But yeah, um, the good thing about backtracking all this way is that I can go and collect a lot more money. Okay, I think there's nothing over here except for the lady right here. Yeah. The Wonder Pup lady. Can she give me a hint of where I need to go? Did she say it's somewhere in the forest? Uh, Wobble Bell, that's its name. He seems to have run away without him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't know where the puppy dog is. So, in that case... The only place I haven't tried yet is going to the back of town and going all the way to the top part of the map. So, I guess I'll just jump cut ahead when I get closer to that area. Okay, I'm back. I'm at the front of town. Now it's time to go see if I can actually go back to the back of town. 
if it'll let me. Hopefully there's not some kind of barrier blocking the way saying, Oh, you can't go here because I'm a big rock monster and you can't do anything. Oh, wait. Hold on. I didn't realize I already made it to the top of town. Okay, I'm gonna try going all the way to the left. Because I think all the way to the left is where I actually started the game. If I'm not- yeah, I remember these NPCs right here. And then Bolo was right over there. Okay, it's all coming back to me. Hello, Mimic. Goodbye, Mimic. Oh, I gotta go find a puppy. Maybe the puppy's actually somewhere in- oh, come on! Okay, I can't do anything over there. I've exhausted all my options. I I have to assume that the puppy is somewhere inside the town. Maybe it's inside one of the houses. Because if it's not, then I don't know where else to look. We must find all the magic seals. Yeah, 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 yeah. They go through the exact same dialogue. Oh. Maybe the puppy's underwater? <laughs> no, it's not. That's some creative thinking on my part, but sadly it's the incorrect thinking. Maybe one of the NPCs have dialogue pertaining to where the dog might be? I don't know, I'm just- I'm grasping at straws right now, I don't- Bolo! If anyone can help me, it's Bolo. Try visiting your pal Roddy Tops. Is her name two words into like one big word? Roddy Tops? I thought Roddy was her first name and Tops is like her last name. I guess her full name is just Roddy Tops. Roddy Tops Jones <laughs> or something, I don't know. You can find her zombie wagon by heading east from the town gate. Well, as you can see, I can't head east because- Hey, wait, wait, hold on. What did he say? East from the town gate. It's a straight shot right there. The field and forest. Okay, I assume the east east of the town gate is this gate, or on the plane of existence where I am right now, but I can't go east because this guy is blocking my path. Oh man, how do I talk to her? How do I even get up there? I can't even get up to her and talk to her. She might have a piece of valuable information for me. But alas, it's not meant to be. Unfortunately. Okay, I already went there. Have I talked to you yet? I'm sure it's not by the Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure I've been inside every house. If I haven't been inside every house, I don't know where to go. Can I go back here? No, I can't. What does she say to me again? The import room. We used to carry all kinds of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just gotta find the dog. Don't go back inside. Get out. Mm, I don't want to go inside the shop. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to any of you people. What's in here? I think this is Sky's house, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. When you're not sure what to do, come talk to me below. Ugh! I tried- I already tried talking to all you people. None of you people helped me out. Completely worthless. I did not mean to go in there. <sighs> nobody, nobody can help me find the lost dog. Yeah, this is just a save room. I don't need- Stop going back inside the house! Why'd she keep doing that? I don't want to go up there. I don't want to talk to you people. I guess I'll just go inside here. Um, what do I do? Hmm. I'm quite at a loss. What haven't I checked? Um, I've been everywhere. I've exhausted every possible option. Where would the dog most likely be hidden? Would it be inside some kind of cave? It might be inside some kind of cave, but I'm pretty sure all the caves I've been in, I couldn't do anything. 
unless the puppy dog spawned inside the cave after I talked to that lady, because talking to that lady might have triggered the pup to actually be located inside wherever it is. But somehow I doubt that's the case. They wouldn't do that, would they? No way they would do that. Hold on, I'm gonna talk to her. Wait! I do have magic jam, but who do I trade it away for? Four or two? Who do I trade it away to? And for what? What can I get out of it? So many questions to be answered, but I don't have any answers to qu quench my questions. Oh, what? See, I'm talking nonsense right now. My mind is going to the dogs. Oh no! I just said in the last episode not to use dog's name in vain. I mean, use dog's names in vain. <laughs> but here I am being a hypocrite. Man, is there anything worse in life than a hypocrite? Well, I can name like a thousand things worse than a hypocrite. But a lot of people don't like hypocrites for some reason. For some reason, it's pretty obvious why they don't like it. I'm gonna try using my... Have I used this already? Okay, I can't use that to break open these. Maybe I can use my thunder? The lady did say to get thunder first. So maybe that's a hint telling me to... Oh, it's not even... Oh, wow, I just pooped up there. Okay, yeah, the thunder clouds don't do anything here. <laughs> Man! Nothing behind this rock in the foreground. I really thought there'd be some kind of secret hidden behind here. If I was a game developer, I would've put a secret back there. But alas, I'm simply a game consumer, not a game developer. Okay, where do I find a wonder pup though? Where do I find a wonder pup? Or a wobble bell. I keep saying wobble bell. Why do I keep saying wonder pup? I mean, I'm not saying wobble bell. I keep saying wonder pup. That's a wobble bell. Wobble bell, puppy dog. What do I do? I'm gonna save my game one more time. For now. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna run past the enemies after I kill this guy. I'm sick of stopping and killing everything along the way. It's slowing me down. Well, I had to kill that spider. He was literally in my way. There's, I had no choice in that matter. Yeah, I've already been here. The only thing that that I need is a key to get in, but I don't have a key, so I can't do anything there. Hmm. Yeah, this entire episode is just me diddling around doing absolutely fuck all. <laughs> I just don't know what- I don't know what to do. It's- I'm in the first- I'm only on part two of the playthrough, and I'm already lost. Lost beyond all belief. And just like last time, I don't want to ruin the integrity of this playthrough by consulting a walkthrough. But... So far, it looks like I don't have a choice. I mean... I, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll keep going. If things get really, really desperate, then I'll probably keep going. Because, hey, maybe I really don't need the Wobble Bell at all. Maybe... Though, Wobble Bell is an optional thing, and I, there's actually another objective that I need to do to progress through the- Get over there. To progress through this dungeon. But somehow I doubt it. This looks really inconspicuous. Or is it conspicuous? I always forget which one is which. I think conspicuous means it blends in or it doesn't stand out. I think inconspicuous is when it does stand out. Um. Yeah, I can't. I'm just gonna make a leap of faith. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to try. Maybe if there's a pit that I can fall down that it looks like I can't fall down. But no way they would do that. It's the beginning of the game. They wouldn't just put a false pit this early on in the game. I don't think they do it in any part of the game. They shouldn't do it in any part of the game. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna 
like I said, I'm just gonna go over everybody. Maybe, I, you know what I have to, you know what I think I have to do? Oh, hold on, let me consult the map. Yeah, I'm gonna save. I think I have to go and talk to the guy inside the dungeon. Because maybe it'll trigger a cutscene where he's like, Oh, my food? Uh, she can't cook my food because her dog is missing? I've seen your dog. Will he say that? Who's out there in the lunch car here? We don't have it. No, dang it. That's a shame. That's such a shame. Okay, if I had to make a guess, if I had to bet my life on it, I would bet that the dog is somewhere in this area. I don't think they would make you backtrack all the way to God knows where just to find the little dog. Um. Oh, right. I, I thought I said I wasn't going to kill the enemies anymore. <clears throat> but a lot of times I don't have a choice in the matter. They, they're, it's literally me killed the- <gasps> I landed right on top of her! That was not fair! Don't tell me I have to time out my scene transitions to make sure I don't land on top of the enemies. Honestly, me landing on top of the enemy should automatically kill it. Because I'm jumping on top of their heads. Maybe he's on the roof? Or the roof? Huh. <laughs> like I- like that tangent I went on in my first Shantae playthrough. When people say roof instead of roof. Maybe I can give her some of my magic jam? Oh no, I can't even pick it because it's a key item. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, with her pup Wobble Bell. Where is Wobble Bell? Um. Okay. Where do I go? Do I go all the way to the left? I'm gonna consult the map one more time. Yeah, there's not anything I can do. Man, it's been 41 minutes. And I have- I've made zero progress in this playthrough, in this episode. This is not good. This is not a good sign of things to come. Oh. <laughs> Darn. But, uh, what do I do? Where do I find a Wonder Pup? I can't go anywhere. Everything is blocking my path. What was that? Why did I start glowing? I saw orange sparkles go over me. I don't know what that did. <clears throat> I don't know what that did. Mm. Voice crack. Ugh. Hmm. Mm. There's gotta be. There's gotta be something I'm missing. Something really obvious. I'm sure. That's how it always is. It's me missing something extremely obvious. I don't think I can do anything with this rock. I can't do anything here. Uh, can't I do anything here? Wait a minute, I have a... I have a jar of magic jam. Can I give the magic jam to this guy? Ugh. Okay, I don't know how to use key items. I assume key items are triggered automatically if I talk to the right person, but uh, apparently that guy was not the right person. Man! I think I might have to bite the bullet and consult a walkthrough, because this is getting out of hand. Wait a minute! Hold on, hold on! Have I been up here yet? There's nothing up here anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Anything up here, though? No, that's just a way for me to get back to where I was. Rude! He says no smash me. Maybe I can't smash him? Hold on. Okay. Because it said the word smash in bright yellow colors, so maybe that's a hint of me having to smash him somehow? Uh, 
What if I use a pike ball? Yeah, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Ah. Maybe there's some kind of item I need to be able to smash him. But I already bought all the items in the shop. So there's not really anything else I can use. Unless... You know, maybe since I have the magic jam, I can use it to upgrade my Spitfire or my Pike Ball. And if I upgrade those items, it'll give me the ability to actually be able to smash those rock people. But I'm just trying anything. I don't even think I, I can afford it. Actually, I'm positive I can't afford it because I said I needed, what, 50 of them? And I only have one. But who knows, maybe they'll give me some kind of discount, some half a genie discount. Because I am the protector of the town, so I should be entitled to having free items. <laughs> free stuff for the hero. I mean, it's the least they can do for me saving the world and all that stuff. I mean, not that me. Defeating Risky Boots is considered me protecting the world. I don't think she's on world domination status. But I did save the town. That's all that matters. Hello, Mr. Two deadly orbs. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did it let me buy it? Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize. It's one magic jar in addition to the money. In that case, wait, Crush Puff? Should I have bought the Crush Puff instead of the Magic Jar? When was the last time I saved? I might actually restart my save just so I can buy the Crush Puff. Because it looks like this is actually what I need to actually destroy the rock people. I mean, it says Crush, Crush, Smash. That might be the... They're similar. I don't know if they're the same, but they might be similar. Okay, um... If I don't, I'm gonna try destroying the rock people with this item. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna... Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, I'm actually gonna restart my save file. Because I don't want to spend money on whatever it is I just spent. Yeah, okay. 127. Well, where am I, actually? Okay, I'll meet y'all back at the shop. Okay, here we go again. This time I'm gonna buy the Crush Puff. If that... If the Crush Puff doesn't work, I might reload my save one more time. Actually, yeah, I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna... I forgot to save. I'm actually gonna go back to the save point to save right before I do this so I don't have to backtrack all the way. Okay, like I was saying... If the Crush Puff doesn't work, I'm actually gonna reload my save to buy the Fireball. Or the Spitfire. Because I think the Spitfire would work better for me. Or, 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 or maybe I would buy the Attract Magic. Or the Magic Veil, that's kinda cool. Oh, I can't even afford it with money. Yeah, uh, if the Crush Puff doesn't work, I'm gonna reload my stick, reload my game and buy the Attract Magic. Or the Spitfire, I don't know. One of them. Hopefully, hopefully this does something. I mean, I'm doubtful, but I'm pretty desperate at this point. Let's see if it works. Here you go. Oh, wrong button. Here you go. Yeah, he didn't even get smashed at all. What if I put out a bunch of them? Yeah, this is nothing. Time to reload my state. I mean reload my game, not state. <laughs> I'm not playing on an emulator. Wait, no, technically I think this is considered an emulator 
but like an official emulator. Because I don't think this game runs natively on the... Actually, this might, might not even be emulation because I know uh, for the Nintendo DSi, or it originally, or this game originally came out on the DSi, but this is a director's cut, so I think they actually like reprogrammed this game. It's not emulated, I don't know. It might be emulated, might not be emulated. Who cares at this point? Um, yeah, I'll just buy the Spitfire. That could probably come in handy during a boss fight. Because I was thinking about getting the Attract Magnet, but do I really need to? All the all the items that drops, they land right on top of me, or like right next to me, so there doesn't really seem to be a practical point of me to buy the Attract Magnet. So I think I'll just buy the Spitfire, because this could come in handy in a pinch. If I if I ever get low on health and I don't and I want to keep my distance, I'll buy three more potions too. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good on vials, so with magic. Let's test it out. Keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, it's three in a in three different directions. I thought it was like back to back fireballs, like rapid fire fireballs. I didn't realize it was. Just all at the same time in three different directions. Oh, don't go that way. Okay, I'm actually gonna try going to the left one more time because maybe I missed something back there. Possibly. I'm gonna try out my new fire. Yeah! Hmm. Okay, I don't want to fall into a pit. Where did all these people come from? They multiplied like fucking cockroaches. Jesus Christ. Where did they all come from? Okay. Oh, there's a lot of them. Jeez. Oh, that thing. I think it just refilled my magic. The little orange sparklies that appeared over my body. Hello, Warp Squid. Goodbye, Warp Squid. I might be using you later. Hmm. That was close. Look at my slick dodging. Why am I even bothering with those people? Yeah, I don't think you can jump up there. I don't think there's any way to get up there, actually. And I don't think there's anything inside this cave. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, this is pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie, this has been a rough episode to sit through. I mean, it's been a rough episode for me to play through. I can't imagine how it is to actually... Uh, I, I can't even get words out of my head right now. My mind is just... Oh, jeez. I don't know what's going on. I think I might need to find a stopping point soon. Either find a stopping point or consult a walkthrough. Because I really don't- They can jump! They're gonna burn for that. They can't just go jumping like that. I'm the only one who jumps in this game. I'm the main character. Stop copying me. Whew. But yeah, I might actually need to consult a walkthrough because this is getting out of hand. I can't talk to any of these people. I mean, I can talk to them, but they don't have anything useful for me. Yeah, they're just telling me generic gameplay advice. But I really want to know where the puppy is! Maybe I should try talking to more NPCs? But the NPCs don't really tell me anything. Okay, zombies to the right of Tangle Forest. I just was in Tangle Forest. Where in Tangle Forest could it possibly be? Okay. 
Maybe I'll try going up again. I'll go all the way back to the end of town. Because I'm actually kind of curious to know what that red icon is. Oh wait, I can't go to that red icon, can I? Because the guy's in my way, huh? Not that guy, but yeah, this guy, he's in my way. Yeah, so I can't even go past here. Oh, is this speedrunning strategies? Is this faster than just running? If I time it out... No, I think it's just better to run. Maybe the little boy knows where my dog is. Little boys like dogs. Ugh, no, he's just telling me about old coots. And I can't even talk to this lady over here. And Bolo doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Well, he's telling me to go find Roddy Tops. He said east to the town gate and it's a straight shot through the fields and the forest. Is he serious? I feel like I would have seen Roddy Tops by now if that was true. But hey, I'm gonna try one more time. Because maybe I really did miss something. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go past the save point this time around. Go over you! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll save. I'm going to try going all the way to the right. Because he did say it's a straight shot. Is it over here? Do I have to make a leap of faith? I can't even make that jump. They start me off all the way at the beginning of the screen. Um, Maybe I should try looking in the cave one more time. Don't go outside. Or maybe do go outside. Out. Do go outside because it's only a locked door that's blocking me. It kind of looks like I can make this though. Is there any way to jump higher? Um, no. I don't think so. I'm trying. I'm walking and jumping. I'm running and jumping. Um,. I don't think there's any kind of power-up to help me. Dancing doesn't seem to help in this situation. Um, I'm gonna try jumping one more time. I'm gonna try to keep jumping because it really does look, look like I can make that. Even if it's just barely being able to make it. Okay, I'll try one more time. <laughs> This time I'll try one more time, here we go! Yeah, I can't make it. And that's what the game over looks like. I think that's a pretty good sign of me to stop the episode, to be honest. <laughs> Damn, I accomplished literally nothing in this episode. I, I might need to go consult a walkthrough. Okay, in episode 3 we're gonna make progress, I promise. Progress will be made in episode 3. Okay, I'll see y'all later. I'm sorry this is such a waste of an episode. I promise part 3 will be a lot better. Okay, bye.